Hey everyone, it's Lauren Nix with Global Partnership for Telehealth. I'm here on site at one of our schools and you see some kids running around in the background and sometimes I like to get back to my roots and I like to be here and see all the kids and, and see what's going on. Um, I'm here today to talk about our SBTC Jamboree for the month of April, even though we're well into the month of May. Uh, we're gonna check in really quick with um, Jay Hughes and he's gonna tell us about our sponsor for this month. Jay? Hey everybody, this is Jay Hughes with Global Partnership for Telehealth, and I'm here to talk about this month's SBTC Jamboree Prize Sponsor. Mendow Urgent Care is located in Augusta, Georgia, and has been a provider for the GPT network since 2015. Since then, they've become one of our go-to urgent care providers. They're open seven days a week and ready when you are. One of their popular services with SBTCs has become their virtual sports physicals. Uh, whether scheduled or last minute, um, they can provide your student athletes with convenient care. For more information, you can find their webpage at mednowurgentcare.net or by phone at 706-922-6578. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks, Jay. And I'll tell you, Dr. Martiak and Mednow do an awesome job. Thanks to you guys for all that you do. And, and guys across the state of Georgia, if, if anybody's needing some services, they aren't scared. So they will see pretty much anything and do a great job in the process and make you feel really at ease from your schools in doing so. So please give Mednow a call. Um, and now well, I'm gonna check in with Jennifer Murphy and she's gonna talk about our SBTC Jamboree Challenge for this month and who our winner is. Jennifer? Hey guys, it's Jennifer here reporting to you live during um, nurse Appreciation Week during the springtime on this beautiful afternoon. I um, just wanted to remind you that we are doing the SBTC Jamboree uh, winner. I'm, I am here to announce the winner for last month. The submissions that we were looking for was the most unique use of telemedicine or the most interesting appointment that you have done via telemedicine. So. We had several entries, all of them were great. It's always so hard to decide which entry we're gonna choose. Um, and we just appreciate all of you participating. Um, Jennifer Highsmith, congratulations. We appreciate your entry, you are our winner. Jennifer is from Wellsbor Waresboro Elementary in Ware County. Um, she does a great job with telemedicine. Her story was that she was looking in a child's ear and this has been some time ago, and she was looking at child's ear and she was seeing something, some, something um, colored, a bright color or something. And so she referred the child um, to see a, um, a doctor in person because not everything can be treated through telemedicine. It can, telemedicine can initiate an appointment. And so in this case, the child had to be referred out um, where they had to go see a physician and the physician that the child went to actually um, pulled out a pink jewel out of the child's ear. So um, the child even denied ever putting anything in their ear, but at some point in time, that child or somebody else, and probably another child maybe playing, put that jewel down in that child's ear. And Jennifer Highsmith in um, Ware County found that jewel and referred the child out to see a physician to have it removed. And so that is a great turnout child was treated, got it removed, and we're just thankful for telemedicine being able to initiate appointments such as that. Um, also, another um, uh, interesting, very interesting appointment that she had was she was looking in the head of a child and found a little bug. Um, actually, the lie, it was not one lice, but two lice, and they were mating. She actually found the lice in the child's head that were mating, and that to me is just crazy. That is, that is one crazy interesting appointment if I ever heard one. So we just appreciate all of y'all. It is um, Nurses Appreciation Week, School Nurse Appreciation Week. So thank y'all all so much for everything you do. I know that this is the last month of school and y'all are ready to get out and we just appreciate you continuing with these appointments and pushing through the rest of the year. We are almost there, guys. So um, just thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Congratulations, Jennifer Highsmith. You will be receiving um, your gift in the mail soon. Thanks, Jennifer. And for Jennifer Highsmith, 
congratulations to you. You know, we all have some funny stories of things that happen in our school health clinics. And it's just interesting to see how telehealth can play a little role in those things. Now for next month, it will all probably be out of school in June when I do the video, but the winner will still be announced somewhere on or around June 6th and um, for the month of May. And during that time, it will be whoever has done the absolute most telehealth appointments for the entire school year. So you probably have some ideas of who some of those nurses may be and we'll get back to you and let you know as soon as we can and it'll be somewhere around June 6th. Thanks to all of you. Have a great end of year.